Peter G. Peterson is a dreamer, an American dreamer, as he put it in the title of his 2009 memoir. His life and work are a testament to the enduring power of the American dream, that generations yet unborn will enjoy the full benefit of that dream. His father, Georgios Petropoulos, immigrated from Greece in 1912. Peter was born in 1926 in Kearney, Nebraska, where his family ran a diner. But Pete went on to MIT, Northwestern University, and the University of Chicago. By 1963, he was the CEO of Bell & Howell. Ten years later, he became the chairman and CEO of Lehman Brothers. And in 1985, he co-founded the Blackstone Group, which evolved into one of the world's largest private equity investment firms. And then there is his distinguished record of public service. In 1972, he became the first Greek American to become cabinet secretary, the Secretary of Commerce. All along, he's been a leader in the nonprofit sector, but his most dramatic philanthropic endeavor was the $1 billion commitment of his personal fortune to establish the Peter G. Peterson Foundation, dedicated to addressing the economic challenges threatening America's future. As he said himself, our children are unrepresented. The future is unrepresented. The moment is long overdue for us to become moral and worthy ancestors. So I decided to set up a different kind of foundation, one that would focus on America's key fiscal sustainability challenges. His own dream of excellence realized, he insists it must go on for future generations. It is an honor for me to receive this award on behalf of my grandfather. As his eldest grandchild, the greatest lesson he ever taught me was to love my work. For my entire life, I have watched him work tirelessly on his public, private, and philanthropic initiatives with focus, passion, and resolve. As a businessman, he has said that his success has been the result of dumb luck. I know better than that. His work ethic and devotion to greatness paved a way to his many professional achievements. As a public servant, having served as Secretary of Commerce under the Nixon administration, as well as the chair of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, his commitment to the betterment of society has been unwavering. These days, you can see him on stage at the fiscal summit, joined by some of our government's key decision makers discussing the importance of fiscal responsibility. Or, with a simple search on YouTube, watch videos as far back as 1984 of him preaching the same exact message with giant, Coke bottle glasses. I can think of my grandfather without, I can't think of my grandfather without hearing the echoes about the unsustainable US deficit, a topic I'm sure in this room you have heard him go on and on in length. In the last few years, he's spoken of his own disbelief that a nerdy Greek boy from Nebraska could become what he himself might call a fat cat. Through his incredible stories of working long hours in a Greek diner that never closed, reiterating his father's persistent economia and an emphasis on education, it is clear that those lessons ran deep and the values of his parents, Georgios and Venetia, have driven him to work hard, save responsibly, and to give back. He has taught me to make the tough choices and to be true to my principles, even if challenging in the short run, the long-term benefit is always worth it. His work ethic has clearly never wavered, even in older age. He's equally, if not more, adamant about the need for fiscal reform and the importance of educating the American public as well as the world on responsible government spending. But most importantly, especially in more recent years, he has reminisced of his parents, his beloved Greece, and all that he learned while living the American dream. As I look around this room, I wish to also pay tribute on his behalf to the many inspiring examples of Greek heritage that my grandfather would be so proud to be in the company of this evening. A heritage rooted in family values, tradition, good old-fashioned hard work, the pursuit of excellence, and in the commitment to serving as examples to others. If you've been to an event with my grandfather before, you know that he likes short speeches and short events. So on that note, and on behalf of my grandfather and the Peterson family, I extend to you my deepest gratitude for this prestigious award from the Hellenic Initiative. Thank you.